Right, contrary, I'm just going to get the last bit of it. You can see it's starting to get that wave, which I call the DNA double helix look, as the wind blows it apart. They were lovely and straight when they came out of the engines, and then the wind blows them, you get that amazing look. Anyway, let's get this now. So this is just south of Cambridge, England, heading northwest, I think. Here we go. So, 49 times zoom. I'm going to stop following the plane so you can see what happens as soon as it, that comes out of the engine. You can see it's still swirling around. Four engines produce those two cores like that in the sky. Just going to go for more of this. 90 times zoom now. to show you what it's left behind. Miles and miles of contrail. It's fizzled out towards the furthest bit. That disappears completely. But let's just show you what, it, what it's left behind. That's what I call the DNA double helix. It really does remind me of that. Look at that. The way it pinches and weaves together. It's amazing when you see it in the sky like that. That is literally miles and miles long. Now it's over Cambridge, heading northwest. Don't know where it's going to. I'll leave the information in the description of the video, the title. So that is 47 times in. It's going into a slightly hazier bit of sky now. And we're just before sunset. You can just see the sun's really low on the horizon there. So there you go. That is, oh yeah, and then. The longer you leave bits in the sky, some of them end up looking like that, almost like a backbone of an animal. It's quite amazing how they change so quickly. That's 23 times in. You see, that's almost like a skeleton in the sky, the backbone of an animal. And that you just would dig up. So God knows how many miles long that is. It's got to be 10 miles long, I should think, probably. And it'll be past Cambridge now. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.